Oh, hey, YouTubers, what's going on? It's your boy RKO2582 here to do my SmackDown review for June the 10th, 2011. Let's not waste any time and get this shit started. Alright, um, the first thing that happened tonight on SmackDown was Christian, um, giving his, uh, heel turn promo, pretty much making it official that he has turned heel, and him saying to the fans that, oh, oh, like, these are the same fans that, you know, um, were behind me when I won the world title, and these are the same fans who went up in arms on Twitter when, when I lost the, the title in five days, but in reality, he lost it in two days, and, um, and then he was so desperate that he, he he wanted to talk to anyone, but he got Michael Cole. Oh my God, we could have done without Michael Cole, in my opinion. But but other than that, this was a good you know heel turn promo, making it official once again. So and, and all that good stuff. All right, uh, the first match of the night was the Core versus the Usos and Ezekiel Jackson. This is what kind of puzzled me. Um, I'm like, the Usos team up with Ezekiel Jackson? I'm like, does this mean the Usos are faces now? With no storyline or purpose of them turning face? <sighs> oh, God. Okay, um, this was an alright six-man tag, but yeah, um, during the match, once again, Wade Barrett turns against the core and pretty much leaves them high drive for the, once again and um, takes a walk, and then Ezekiel Jackson... Did the then that brutal torture round, almost breaking Justin Gabriel in half and winning it for the team of him and the Usos. All right. Um. Next thing that happened was uh, Sheamus went to Teddy Long's office and say, "I want to match with Christian tonight." And then Ted Long put him um in another rematch with Randy Orton, but this time it it, it was no disqualification. And after that, um. It, the core match was over, and then um, all the three members of the core were arguing with each other, and pretty much Justin Gabriel and Heath Slayer pretty much had with Wade Barrett cowering out and then left him high and dry once again. But Wade was left alone, so, yeah. So I'm guessing this means the core might is finally done and over. And no, and I can't forget that um, at Capital Punishment, it was confirmed that Ezekiel Jackson versus Wade Barrett for the Intercontinental Championship. So alright, um next thing that happened on SmackDown was um my girl, my baby, AJ had a little mini interview and of course, you know, Tamina and Rosa Rosa Mendez, yeah, um try to like, you know, poke fun at her, you know, saying all these little corny, you no know, cliches with you yeah. know all right, so I'm not gonna get into that, but let's get to the match with her versus Tamina. And um, yeah, AJ seems kind of like you know, kind of pop fish, you know, like '90s pop music or something like that. Yeah, pretty much her theme is pretty much what my sister will would enjoy more than yours truly. But nonetheless, um, the match was okay. Uh, I enjoyed that little spot AJ did when she bam hit uh Tamina in the face with her knee, and then. And I thought Tamina was going to beat AJ again for the third week in a row, but AJ did her crucifix and got the one, two, three, and oh my god, AJ finally won a match. And it was her first singles match too, and I'm, and I'm like, I'm so damn happy that that's my girl, that's my hottest shorty on the freaking planet, AJ Lee. Ooh, so fine, she's so fine. Okay, uh... Next thing that happened was uh, Randy Orton, you know, coming out and um, doing his from again, his words and saying, oh, oh, Christian, come out, all that crap. Ugh, Jesus Christ. hate that boy. Um, yeah, and of course, Christian comes up on the tight run. He's pretty much outside of the arena. And, and Christian got his few words in. And, uh, oh, and I like when he <laughs> kind of poked fun at Tay. He's like, hey. Hey, get, hey, fans, like, guess what? Like, we should do a poll, like, w w like, Randy Orton should come out and say, like, holla, 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 holla. Oh, my God, it was too funny. <laughs> and, um, of course, you know, Christian was saying, like, oh, I'm not going to do it on your turn or no more on the peeps' turn. I'm only going to do it on my turn. And, yeah, and um, pretty much confirming at Capital Punishment, it will be... Randy Orton versus Christian one more time for the World Heavyweight Championship. And I sure as hell cannot wait for Capital 
punishment for that match next Sunday. So, and um, next match of the night was at first DBIC versus Sin Kata. And this match was pretty much going good until Cody Rhodes interfered, and then <clears throat> um, Cody Rhodes and um, Ted DiBiase started beating Sin Cara now. And then um, who comes to his aid? Daniel Bryan, aka the American Dragon. And then you know Tay Long comes out saying, "Wait, wait, 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 wait!" Saying like, "Now this match will be a tag team match," and and it was get, and it was real, a really good, decent tag team match, and I enjoyed that <clears throat> spot that um that um that DBIC and Brian did. I thought Brian was gonna go for like I think that usual drop kick or a splash, I'm not sure. And then he he caught and he um DBIC called and then Dan Brian had him in like somewhat of a, a sleeper guillotine lock and then he, he, he switched it up into the to the LaBelle lock and it was sweet too and then Daniel Bryan had I mean oh sorry, DBIC had no choice but to tap out and um Sin Cara and Daniel Bryan got the win for the team and um uh, Oh, another thing that happened on SmackDown tonight was, oh my God, Johnny Curtis once again trying to make another pun. Uh, like last week, it was the no crime use over spill milk, and this week it was a chip on his shoulder. Feel bad for Johnny Curtis. It's a shame. All right, uh, we get to the main event: Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, versus the Dream Killer. Randy Orton in a no disqualification match. I must say this match kept me um very entertained. I enjoyed some of the spots. I know I like when um uh Sheamus uh put him, uh Randy Orton with the steel stuff in. I like I must I will admit that I did like Randy Orton when he did that scoop slam on Sheamus onto the steel step and along with him whipping Sheamus like a sleigh with the um Singapore came or candlestick or whatever. It's called, but yeah, it was a good spot. And then it was getting good, and I and I thought Sheamus was gonna win with that bro kick, but but no, he yeah, or dodged that, and then um yeah, and then Christian comes out, and you thought Christian was gonna hit him with the kill switch, and then nope, and then or thought you hit him with an RKO, and then Sheamus hits him with bam with that what, what I found out was called War Sword, and um yeah, and, and I thought he had him there, but nope, and then um. Yeah, Orton did his usual D teams and get ready for the RKO and what happens? BAM! Christian once again for the second week in a row knocks Orton on his ass with the title belt. And maybe wanted to be smoky from Friday once again, calling up the Orton saying, You got knocked the fuck out again. Ah! And of course, um Seamus took advantage of the situation and got the one, two, three. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Even though I don't like neither of them guys, but I was just happy Orton got beat. That's what I cared about the most. And and Christian once again standing tall ran against Randy Orton for two weeks in a row, like I said, once again. And and I must say once again, SmackDown had another good ending. I mean, it was great. It was great. So so that was once again, that was your SmackDown review. And oh, and don't forget, this coming Monday night is the three hour WWE All Star Night where all the superstars of Raw and SmackDown come together. And, and the main reason this night will do well, in my opinion, is because the special guest GM of the night is none other than my boy, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I cannot wait for this. So. Oh, and I wanted to point this out. Um, I forgot to point this out on my Voltron Force video. Um, I made a mistake on that for all my anime fans out there. I meant to say um next Thursday instead of Wednesday. Just wanted to point that out. All right. Anyways, um, this is your boy RKL twenty five eighty two signing off.